Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss and learn about how to use indirect web services in ServiceNow or I would like to say specifically import set web services. So we will be using the rest again. And uh, so let's start. So my use case is again similar. Uh, we will be creating incident through it could be through Jira or any other tool, but here we will be using Postman and REST API Explorer. So to start with, to create the REST integration using import web services, so why we basically need, I would like to just give one point on that part. So if you remember previously, we were not able to set caller because caller expects this ID and third party tool doesn't have the society and there could be any uh, like other fields which uh, would expect some other type of data and you need to like intervene in the data what was sent by the client or third party tool let's say Jira or Postman. So to manipulate the data before setting it to the target table so we are putting basically a intermediate table yeah, again direct uh, web services are available but Try to use like indirect ones uh, because again direct one you are sharing so like you are exposing all of your data to third party tool so all those uh, security things are also there so it's uh, good if you use uh, this import set web services or like maybe if required scripted one and again it depends on your requirement it's like what suits for you what suits for your client all those things so let's start. Uh, import set web services so to create uh, the incident or any other record in service now through import set web services so you need to share the import set web services endpoints and the content to the third party tool or the client so to do that you need to type here inbound and then under web services you will find create new you will find you uh, out of box in on web services created through the import set you can create new one for you you if this user one is satisfied for a requirement for user location computer you may be able to use it so here i am going to create a one new in one web service for incident so here I will type like maybe name for the U. You can put I will say create incident. Then you can either create field manually, which you basically need to map from your import set table to target table, and import set table will be basically exposed to your client or Jira or now uh, for the time being i am just copying the target field tables field if you don't want to copy whole fields like all fields then you can create manually few fields so i am again here going to select incident because i need to create the incident and then i will say create Okay, so next web service is created. Now it is asking you to create the transfer map, which will basically map your target import set table fields to target table that is incident, and import set table is the one where client would be sending the data. Now what I will do, I will just save it for the time being. And now let's just reload it. Here I will type again create incident. So now under web services, you will find this create incident. So I think I is missing. So the name is incorrect, but you can give correct. 
now here you will find your both set table to be created here you will send visual rest api things you again get the link here to navigate to rest api explorer and now let's just do one thing let's create the transform map So we come here and here. So let's say we will start field mapping. So we can use mapping assist. And let's say we map description for description here. Yeah for description and then target table for description yeah the so description is then i can map my category category is here category is here. category I will map just two fields for the time being. As per your requirement, you may need to map multiple fields. Okay. So now what I can do, I can, now I need to map the caller. So caller expects this ID, but third party tool doesn't have the sys ID of like user reports stored in service now. So uh, you may come up with a unique identifier like which uh, that tool will also have and service now will also have for the user. Let's say user ID or network user ID, or maybe you can identify decide it as email address. So then that tool will be sending email address of the user, and now reference field cannot accept the user email address. So what I will do. I will write the code here and I can get the user sys ID from user table using his email address. So what I will do, I will say sys underscore user and write recording. And then what I will do, I will say email. Email is equal to source, sorry, yeah, source dot caller. So dot u underscore caller. So in caller ID, let's say third party tool will send the email address of the user. Now, what I will do, I will get the caller ID. Through caller ID, I will get the sys ID. Now I will go inside this loop. What I will do, I will say target dot caller ID equal to gr dot this ID. Now what I did in between before sending the data to target table, I have just modified the data, which is basically in the same format which my which is accepted by my target field. I will save it. I will go to this web service here. And now I can go to the REST API Explorer. So here is my REST API Explorer. Now, import set API is here. 
my table is by default selected as I directly navigate to my API. Then here I got post. So I will create, create the record. I will use this post. And then the same application. Then here I can again build my JSON. So I will say caller ID is equal to let me pick the one users caller ID. Go here, user table. And I will pick landing an email address. And I will put it here. Now I will select sort description. Test. And then I will say category. So you may need to map other fields as well as per your business requirement and now you can test it. Okay. So this is successfully creating the incident here we got the incident. Now what we will do we will copy this URL and these details and we will put it in uh, tool and here we are using postman jump to postman we will select post and we will put here endpoints and then authorization i'm going to use basic path and financial of level tutor and then body and put the body here okay so I can put it in a good format so let's say I will say type one now I will try to create the incident so invalid content type. Yes, we didn't define the content type. I'm going to add uh, and we will say content type. And in content type, we will define application slash JSON. Now let's try it. ACL exception operation fail because now we are using transform map and able tutor doesn't have access for like creating the record through transform so we may need to modify the permission of the user which you are going for to give for the authentication so i will give here for the time being Now try it. User no authenticated, maybe no password. Okay, so now it's got password and we got the incident created. Let's go to this incident and see what happened to it. So let's switch to service now. We will search this incident and here we go so we got a Brian Lincoln set correctly to the user record this time 
as we have modified the content sent by client in between through transform map script and then category and sort description so this is how you can make uh, use of this uh, import set api features and you can write like import set uh, transform map scripts as well as per requirement like if you need to modify the content uh, or you need to do any other validation or anything uh, you may be able to use all the transform map features as well along with this uh, import set api features so thank you for watching the video and please like share and subscribe i will record another video on web services thank you